Are you addicted to food, coffee, filth on the internet, affirmation, sleep, comfort, anything? If you're watching this video, you're probably like most people and you haven't yet been able to break free from your addictions. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the biggest mistake people make when they're trying to break addictions and how you can break every single one of them every time. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a free resource that is going to kickstart you in the right direction so you can become the man or the woman that God has designed you to be. But first, let me tell you a quick story. You've probably heard of the Rwandan genocide. In the Rwandan genocide, the nation was split between two tribes and one tribe ended up massacring the other tribe, and it's estimated that between 500,000 and a million people died. But what most people don't know is that in 1981, Our Lady appeared in a town called Cabejo and warned people that this would happen if they did not amend their ways. These apparitions have been approved by the church, and this is what's going to help you to break every addiction. One of the main messages Our Lady had in Cabejo was to spread devotion to the Seven Sorrows Rosary. The Seven Sorrows Rosary is nothing new. It's been around since the 13th century. However, Our Lady wanted to spread devotion to this rosary so much that she attached new promises to it. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can see exactly what all the promises are because they're pretty astounding. But for right now, I just want to focus on one. One of the promises of the Seven Sorrows Rosary is that by recitation of this rosary, you will be freed from addictions, and obsessions. Most people know what an addiction is, but what is an obsession? An obsession is a term that's used by exorcists to explain a phenomenon where the demons basically impress an image upon your memory or your imagination over a long period of time, and you don't want it there, but you can't get rid of it. You're fighting it off and fighting it off, but they keep impressing that image or that thought or that idea upon you. This is called obsession. It's where the demons try to make you obsess over something, usually not something good. So Our Lady of Sorrows promises if you pray this rosary, she will break all of your addictions and eliminate all of your obsessions. And this is the mistake most people make whenever they're trying to free themselves from addiction. The mistake is that they try to free themselves. Jesus is what you need to set you free. And his blessed mother is going to help you to accomplish that. Even in my own personal experience, this rosary has been an absolute game changer. This is one of the devotions that I'm going to continue to pray daily until the day that I die. And why is this rosary so incredibly powerful? Well, there's a couple reasons. One of the main reasons is that it reminds us of death. And death may not be something that's pleasant for us to think about often, but what it does is it will sober you up and make you face reality. Because we all have a very limited amount of of time. One of the most powerful meditations that I do from time to time is I'll focus on my own deathbed and I'll imagine that I'm laying there and that it's difficult for me to breathe and that I'm holding my wife's hand and I just wonder whose face will be the last face that I see before I die? Whose voice will be the last voice that I hear before I die? What will they say about me at my funeral? Will my children lie when they speak at my funeral and say that their father was a good man? I would do anything to make sure that my children can honestly say my father was a good man at my funeral. So when we're praying the Seven Sorrows Rosary, what we're doing is we're walking with Our Lady through her greatest trials and tribulations. It's impossible to pray this rosary well and not feel compassion and closeness with Our Lady. So listen, you've got addictions, you've got problems, you've got obsessions, this is what you do. Start praying the Seven Sorrows Rosary daily and do not let it go our lady promised to free you from addiction if you pray the seven sorrows rosary take her at her word try it have some faith in our lady's ability to completely transform you into the next great saint even in my own life this is something that's completely changed the entire trajectory of my life so many things that i used to struggle with just evaporated when I started praying this rosary daily. And I'm not alone in that. I know other men who have started this devotion and their addictions to filth on the internet, to food, to sleep, to affirmation, all went away. So when I say this, I'm speaking from my own experience and from the experience of people that I've worked with. They all say the same thing. The seven sorrows rosary breaks addictions. And it's important for us to get this right because someday you are going to probably be a husband and a father or a mother and a wife. And if you want to do that well, you have to be free from addiction because your actions, your behaviors, your habits are going to shape 
your children. And your children are going to exhibit the same habits that you have and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren. So if you have a virtue, it's not just your virtue. It's a virtue that's going to live on in your descendants for generations. And if you have a vice or an addiction, it's not just your vice. It's a vice that's going to affect your children and grandchildren for hundreds of years in the future. So don't kid yourself and say, oh, my addictions, they're no big deal. Oh, it's just a part of my personality. Oh, it's my shortcoming. No, that is not how our Lord and our Lady see you. They see you as a beloved son or daughter. And when you hurt yourself, it hurts them. And when you belittle the gifts that God has given you, it's an insult to your creator. Recognize that God did not make you for mediocrity. He made you for greatness, and he will only give it to you if you cooperate with him. Your addictions are your enemies, and you are incapable of overcoming them. So turn to Our Lady, turn to the Seven Sorrows Rosary, and ask her to crush the head of the serpent again in your life. Just speaking from my own experience, I went from somebody who was kind of Catholic, I went to Mass on Sundays, to a seminarian, to a theology teacher, to now a husband and a father. And I have made so many mistakes along the way. But I finally feel like I'm at a point in my spiritual life and in my knowledge and in my virtue where I am confident that I am able to lead myself and my family to heaven. And if you're a single young man and you want to learn more about that because you don't feel equipped to lead yourself to heaven, much less a family, or if you want to be really, really intentional about becoming not just a good husband and a good father, but a saint, then please fill out the survey in the description and we can chat in person. I'll see you there.